it's actually that uh, I just feel like the adults are becoming more and more antisocial with the youth day by day like living around like just like living in London especially bro like like you can't even smile at these people like I've smiled at like look like bro I've smiled I've tried smiling at bare people today yeah to make their day and I've just been aired like you know people you just walk past but I've just tried doing it with adults to show adults that not all us not all us kids are bad innit and like I just keep I just keep I just keep getting aired they either look at me yeah and then just frown or like just give me a dirty look or they just or they just don't even look up like you just see them looking down like most of the time and then there was even this woman yeah I accidentally stepped on her foot yeah as I was coming onto the bus I said sorry innit and then and then she just looks at me yeah so I say sorry yeah and then she just airs me she just airs me fam like these adults like they're, they're, they're so like some of them they're either quiet like they don't even say shit to you like it don't matter what you say they won't respond to you or anything like that or they'll only talk here yeah, like to make you feel down or like say oh you're such a bad kid you should do better you're such a bad kid like you know them you know them adults man like they're so like you can't even say hi to these man you can't even chat you can't even chat to these man on a peaceful thing like they're so they're that immature fam like the only time they'll interact with you is when there's an altercation that's that's the only time they'll chat to you if there's an altercation like it's honestly it's honestly sad man it's honestly sad like the only people you can really chat to is like youth i'll be real as a as a kid yeah the only people i can chat to on the street or like in public is bus drivers people working at a job or like or like just youth like people my age just kids bro that's pretty much the only people that's pretty much the only people i get to talk to like i can't really talk to like any adults bro because they're so bitter they're so like oh i don't i don't know what it is here but One nine seven nine nine. That's right. Oh, bless her. Yeah, like okay, you do get the you did you do get the few kind adults like that, but it's just rare, fam. It's rare nowadays, fam. I'm telling you that. I'm telling you that for a fact, fam. There's buses, man. Like, you see these things here, yeah, like, bro, people do any, like, people do any shit to, like, buses, bro, and you still got buses lasting from, like, like, 13 years ago, like, you still got, like, like, that's what I deep sometimes, yeah, like, some of these buses, yeah, like, with all the types of, cr like, crazy shit some people do to buses, yeah, some of these buses are still existing from, like, 10 years ago, fam. Like, that is mad, fam. Like, there's people that just set like buses on fire randomly and they still manage to repair them. Like that that is mad fam. And they cost like like they cost like millions of pounds, like they cost millions of pounds to repair as well. Even crashes as well. Even all these crashes these these buses get into. And they're still here on the street from like ten years ago, like fifteen years ago like. That is just mad fam. 
Uh, these these garages here, bro. They 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 owe a lot of they owe a lot of credit, man. They they owe a lot of they owe lot, they they owe a lot of support, man. The stuff they do, man, just to provide network and service for us. They owe a lot of support and credit, man. Even TFO. As much as, as as much as I hate this electric bullshit, they're starting to bring into place. I still got I still got all credit to TFL because they're trying to like every day they're trying to come up with like new ideas to like make the service better and all that, make the like buses better and all that. Like we got we got owe them some credit, but I just hate these like, like I hate the rush for ele electric buses, man. I hate the rush, bro. Cause like bro, just wait, yeah. Just wait for a fire, wait for a fire to come out, yeah? And then they're gonna take out like, bare electric buses. T309, oh wait, no, no, T303. Buses are decent man, the, the amount of features they have bro, they're so overlooked bro, but like the average person, buses are so overlooked, 
Like only boss enthusiasts only I'm I'm actually like sometimes it pisses me off that only boss enthusiasts understand this. Like bosses they have so much like they have so much to them. Like it's not just something you build every day, bro. There's much more to them, like the features they have, like people just overlook like can you build doors like that? Can the average person build like doors that work with air pressure? Can the average person make an engine that works with a clutch? Like like just build an engine like make fuel and all that. Like can the average person do that? Like Buses are so old, like there are tons of there, even cars, yeah. Like, how come people love cars more than they love buses? I don't understand, bro. Because cars, like, buses have more features than cars. Okay, like, cars, yeah, they go fast, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, okay, car, like, cars, they have, they're basically buses but with less features. That's how I see cars and vans. They're basically buses but with, just with less features. Like, okay, cars sound good and all that, some. And even cars, engines, yeah, some of them, some of them, they're too small. So they sound bare quiet as well. Some cars, their engines are bare small. You get me? Like some cars, they have the quietest, boring engines. Like, why do people like cars more than they like buses? Like, okay, who cares if the car can go like 200 mph, bro? Like, bro, like, bro, when you go 200 miles per hour, you feel like you're about to die, bro. So I don't, like, why would I want to go that fast, bro? Do you get me? I mean, it's cool in a computer game and all that, bro, but you're literally risking your life if you go that fast in a car, IRL. Like, it's, don't get me wrong. It's fun in a computer game, but IRL, bro, that is that must be terrifying. Because some, because if 100 miles per hour, yeah, can feel fast enough, yeah, like, sometimes 100 miles per hour can actually feel scary, like the boss man's about to crash or something like that. Even 50. But 200, fam. Like some, like some of these men rate sports cars for going that fast, bro.